Hi my little everybody, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Goretti and I am in my new office space. Uh, just doing some uh, work here today. I had some clients and I brought some of my cards. I just wanted to do a reading. I have a new deck here. Um, it's called the Luna Soul Tarot. Um, I absolutely love it. The pictures aren't very bright. It's kind of like pastel uh, colors, um, but I absolutely love it. So I'm going to do a quick little reading for you all with that. Um, as well, I have the Believe in Your Own Magic uh, Oracle deck. So I'm going to pull you all an oracle right now. And this is going to be for the Capricorn uh, Collective, actually. So I might start doing some others um, as we go along. We'll see. All right, Holy Spirit, messages and guidance for the Capricorns. Messages and guidance for Capricorn. Messages and guidance for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know most right now? All right, and final shuffle. Okay, here we go. Sorry, that was probably really loud. Okay, 33, nostalgia, focus on the here and now. So this is about really, you know, taking everything in right now, slowing things down, grounding yourself, um, being in the moment, being more in your body, not so much in your head space. Number 33 is also a very spiritual number. And we also got uh, Evil Queen, number two, you deserve sugar, not salt. Number two, you deserve sugar, not salt. So you could um, have some haters on your hands. Uh, somebody difficult maybe that you dealt with. Um, could be, you know, a toxic situation, toxic relationship, anything like that. And the next one is red, forgive, number 10. Okay. And it's funny, uh, 10 goes down to a one in numerology with the two, that's a three. So three, three, three could be something that you're seeing. Um, yeah, it looks like with nostalgia, focus on the here and now. Uh, just with, you know, how they're talking and she's all up in her head, not really paying attention to what her friend is saying. I think there's a situation that you're maybe dealing with, um, or somebody that you're dealing with, whether it's at work or in your personal life, um, that is causing you, um, a lot of pain or has caused you a lot of pain in the past. And this is like rumination. So this is, you know, thinking about it over and over and over again. Um, you know, thinking about what this person has done uh, to you, but knowing your value and your worth and knowing that you deserve, uh, sweetness, you know, not, uh, whatever this evil was, uh, that was done to you. Um, but in order to move forward, we do need to forgive, right? And forgiveness is not for the other person or that situation. Forgiveness is for yourself. It's to free yourself from it. Okay. I think that was pretty straightforward, actually. All right, let's see what the tarot has for Capricorn. The messages and guidance. Holy Spirit for Capricorn. Or what do Capricorns need to know at this time? What do Capricorns need to know at this time? The messages and guidance, please. Holy Spirit. What do Capricorns need to know at this time? Messages and guidance. Messages and guidance, please. Guidance for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know right now? Alright. Okay. Let's see. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Definitely, you know, like I said, self worth, loving yourself, uh, knowing your worth. King of Cups. Also, uh, balancing out your emotions. Um, you know, this also at the bottom of the deck could be somebody that's coming in. I believe it's balancing out your emotions because we also have the 10 of swords. So as you can see, you've been really hurt in the past. This is, you know, extreme pain. 
uh, but you are the empress here. Ooh. Sorry, guys. You are the empress. And next card, I'm also seeing king of wands. So this is the entrepreneur card. This is, you know, being confident, self-assured, um, and knowing your value or, and your worth, being charismatic, but definitely, you know, having that confidence uh, that you need having the confidence in the fact that you are the empress male and female it doesn't matter we embody both energies right so whatever this is it's about balancing out your emotions going deep within yourself loving yourself um healing this pain i'm also getting that and knowing your value and your worth you're the empress right okay at the center you showed up into your own reading the devil i don't think this is really we'll see we'll see the fool is what we see what we don't see is ten of wands queen of wands is the recent past three of pentacles or three of discs is the advice and queen of discs is the outcome with the six of wands okay and the seven of discs all right so I don't know why I just felt compelled to take a few more cards there. So at the center here, this could be you. This could be you really needing to tap into that Capricorn energy, really needing to know who you are um, at the center of the situation. But also this is about uh, not giving into that, you know, the, the shadow side of the devil, right? Um, not giving into temptations, addictions, uh, codependency, anything like that. Uh, this also could be a person or a situation that you're dealing with um, that is, you know, possibly toxic, um, like we saw in the uh, Oracle cards there. However, what we are seeing, so you might have gone through this situation or dealing with somebody like this, and what we're seeing here is that you, the Fool card, so you will be taking a leap of faith into a new beginning. This is a new beginning towards your happiness here with the Sun, and knowing, trusting, have faith um, that, you know, when you step off the cliff there, the universe, God, whatever it is for you, uh, is there to catch you, okay? Have trust uh, in this new path. And what we don't see um, is the Ten of Wands. So, you know, maybe you're still carrying a lot of burdens, having a lot of struggles. Um, I'm also getting sleepless nights, headaches, things like that with whatever this situation is that you're dealing with. Um, and, you know, I'm getting that this is about having to drop your burdens. Um, and I do believe that you are working on that because the Queen of Wands is here in the recent past. So this was you getting back to feeling, to having your groove back, you know, feeling good again, confident, charismatic, charming. Um, this also could be about your physical appearance, right? I'm seeing the two lions there, Leo season definitely right now. Uh, this could have just recently happening happened or the uh, Lionsgate portal could have really helped you get back into, um, you know, this Queen of Wands energy. Um, and your advice is the Three of Discs. So this is working collaboratively with somebody else, um, connecting with other people, right? This is collaborations. Uh, this is working together. I'll clarify that probably. Uh, queen of Discs is your outcome. So this is the Queen of Pentacles. This also very much is the Capricorn card. This is all about stability. I'm seeing the butterfly there. This is you have transformed it back into yourself. Whatever this situation was that you've gone through, uh, possibly with, you know, this devil energy, um, this evil queen, this person or situation that you need to forgive um, and you do need to forgive in order to drop those burdens but the outcome is your stability as well you will be victorious the six of wands you will be victorious on this um, uh, journey towards your happiness with the Sun there whatever this new beginning is you will be very successful here 
um, this is success and victory and know that all your effort was not for nothing. You will be reaping uh, the fruits of your labor. You'll be reaping the benefits here with the seven of uh, discs or seven of pentacles. So let's just quickly clarify what is the three of discs about for the advice? Holy Spirit, what is three of discs here for the advice for Capricorn? Why is three of discs here as the advice card? Three of discs. Three of discs. Oh my goodness. That one went flying. Three of discs. Why is the three of discs here? Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, can help to pull that. Sorry, guys. Let me just grab these two. I wasn't really expecting that. <laughs> Okay. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to have to think of that moving forward. My apologies. <laughs> my apologies. All right. So, okay, let's see. Um, strength, Knight of Discs. Okay, so this is about... Um, and this deck has this interesting card. It's called Wee Wee. Um, and this is all about going with the flow and knowing that it's like water going through, you know, stones, <coughs> excuse me, going through all the cracks and crevices and just going with the flow wherever you're into, I'm getting wherever your intuition leads you. Um, so this could be working collaboratively um, with others that possibly, um, you know, it, it could have something to do with spirituality. You could be learning. You could be um, actually, um, you know, being a teacher or you're getting uh, education or teaching from someone else. Um, and this is about truth, whatever your truth is for you that you're working on here knowing that uh, to go slow and steady, that you will cross the finish line. This, you know, the Knight of Discs is the only uh, knight that does cross the finish line. And having the strength here, okay, um, to be able to do whatever it is uh, that you need to do, yin and yang. This is about, I'm getting balancing out your uh, light and shadow side. Um, and this is taking passionate action towards whatever this is, but this new beginning but going with the flow, whatever this is, and collaborate with other people. Um, you know, there's there's a saying, teamwork uh, makes the dream work, right? Teamwork makes the dream work. This is working with other people. Um, you know, possibly could, like I said, could have to do with, you know, spirituality here. Um, you could be, you know, learning, growing, um, you need to work with other people to be able to do that. That might not be to do with your work, but just for yourself. Going with the flow and knowing that you do have the strength that it takes to be able, um, you know, to cross the finish line. You do have the endurance. You have the strength and endurance to be able to do what it is that you need to do. All right, Holy Spirit, final messages for Capricorn. Final messages for Capricorn. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Eight of Wands. Oh my gosh. Okay. Queen of Swords in reverse. Whatever it was that is not serving you or whatever it is that's not serving you. Um, I feel like you've already cut it out, okay? Um, you've t you're taking passionate action towards this new beginning. Again, the sun in Leo season towards Ace of Discs. This is your Ace of Pentacles. So this is abundance. This is all about your abundance and know that nine of discs here so this is also about success this is you being um you know independent
confident, self-assured, successful, uh, just happy in your own skin and reaping, you know, the benefits uh, of your labor, right? This is kind of like here you're waiting for the fruit to grow and here it has grown. Um, and this is all about wish fulfillment. You will have wish fulfillment here in regards to your ultimate happiness, the sun card. So the star and the sun, your wishes will be fulfilled for happiness. The sun was pretty uh, prominent in this reading. So definitely we are in, um, you know, Leo season. Um, and this portal, I'm also getting, you know, kind of mirroring here like the portal, right? And this sun, I don't know, I'm getting a uh, Leo from that as well. And there were a few uh, lions uh, in this spread uh, today. So um, definitely take this, you know, passionate action to cut out what doesn't serve you. Take the passionate action towards abundance because abundance is coming in for you. Holy Spirit is definitely bringing that in. You've done the work to put your life together, um, be independent and self-assured, and know that your wishes are going to be fulfilled here, okay? Um, and there will be ultimate happiness with the sun card. All right, everybody, I think that was all the messages uh, for you all today, and hopefully you really like this deck. I, you know, had seen it for a while and just didn't resonate with it, and all of a sudden, one day, I just felt like getting it, and I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favorite decks. Um, it's, it's, it's really special, and it's got such a uh, sweet, cute energy that I get from it, so it's very uplifting. All right, everybody, thanks so much. Please like this video uh, if you haven't already done so. Share it. Um, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon so that you get notified uh, of new uh, videos. And I will see you all soon. I'm going to have to uh, definitely get my setup here for doing videos because um, sorry if this isn't the most um, picturesque. Um, but I got the messages out and this was a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I wish you all peace, love, and light. Until next time, bye-bye.